Last time on Fallout New Vegas. If you made the caravan, you're responsible for killing it. What did you just say to me? Cause you sure as hell got my attention now. Who believes in holding on to a dead caravan anyways? Me, that's who. I'm not gonna let it go just yet. There... There might be some survivors, or... Oh, who am I kidding? There's nothing left. Hey guys, Boney McBonichin here, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. In the last episode, we did a whole bunch of errands for people, and uh, recruited Cass. Now in this episode, we are going to be heading down to meet the Brotherhood of Steel and pray to God they're not gonna murder us for our weapons. Let's go. All right. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> for Pete's sake. Opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. Hmm. Huh. All right, well, you guys should probably wait out here. I don't think they'd be happy to. Tight. I don't think they'd be really happy to see all these people and a uh, nightkin walk in here. All right. Grandma will be right here if you need anything, pumpkin. Oh, thank you. Hey, make sure these three keep well fed, okay? Whoa, how did... Never mind. Uh, hello? Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here. And I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. Alrighty. Looking sharp, Ramos. Behave yourself, Sandra. Ooh. Someone woke up on the wrong side of their cradle. Let's go. Elder McNamara. McNamara. Aha. It's an Irish name. I don't go in there yet. They said take a right. Hello, outsider. Howdy. Huh. My mistake, this must be shooting range. Okay. Turn around. Should have told me to go down the hall and then take a right. Fucking weeaboo. Uh, hello there! I believe you want to talk to him? Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about- Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Yeah. All right, but wait, you wanted to talk to me? When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. 
Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Uh... What the fuck? Sure. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit. With you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Hmm. Surely you have... Actually, uh... You know what? I'll begin looking immediately. Why not? I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, thanks. You wanna talk about what just happened? What's up? Never mind. See you around. Yeah, let's go. Although, I want to explore a little further. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. So, what now? I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. Hmm. So what could we bring him that would change his mind? I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Father who? Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert, chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. Hmm. You think the Elder will listen at all? He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. Hmm. Alright, let's head out. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. Yeah. Now there's some dude's room and I can't exactly steal without getting in trouble. Veronica would probably be pissed. Oh, it's a dead end. I see. A lot of books here, I gotta admit. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Sure. Go ahead. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Hmm. 
So, how do you propose to do that? I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. All right. What is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. Pardon? Um, okay. That Sorry was... Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. Well, yeah, I can see that. So they meant... Um... Pardon me. So something about... Hey. Hey, howdy. Got a lot of terminals in here. Scribe Ibsen! Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Hmm. I've had better. You and me both. The Elder wants this data store operational pronto, but it doesn't look like the damn thing will be working anytime soon. Why's that? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. A virus? Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. Hmm, anything I can do to help? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. Can the virus's files be partitioned so read access is only provided by the kernel administrator? What? No, that... that's brilliant! would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal, even when the other parts move. Hmm, I'll give it a try then. Wait, actually, what do you need me to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible, but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish, but we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. I'll give it a try then. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Okay. Hello, outsider. Oh, uh, that's Veronica, dumbass. Yeesh. And I thought I had eyesight problems. Hello. So this is a fun mini game we have to do in one minute. The virus just jumped. Find what. Access data store. Reload data store. Terminals it went to. Nope. Don't so. want you okay, that's not it. Too hard there, Ibsen. Hmm? Oh. 
Okay, we got one. Did we already do this one? That's not it. It's not Ten it. Seconds. What? Ten seconds already? Two out of three. Come on. Last one. Last one. No, 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 you don't. Fuck. No. I thought we might have had it that time. Yeah. Let's try it again. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Yes. All right. I'll monitor when it jumps. When I give this signal, start checking terminals. All right, I'm not going to lie. When I first did this, it took for fucking ever. No joke, I had at least 20 attempts. I think it might even be able to be this one. The virus just jumped. Nope. Find which terminals it went to. Nope. Nope. That's it. We got it. Wait, we did? The virus has been purged. Really? You actually did it? If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Now that the data store is fixed, I actually know, maybe I shouldn't... How do I get access to more topics in the data store? Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Alrighty, well thank you. See ya. Bye. Ooh. That was a weird voice change he did. Bunker information. Project goals. Oh, I see. So the sandstorm is actually a camouflage system. That's why we haven't gotten a hit with it yet. Morning. Morning. You know what? Let's go see what I can sell to them. Howdy! The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. Show me what you have for sale. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. A displacer glove. Ooh. And we've got greased lightning. And get ready for one of the most overpowered but useless weapons in the game. A grenade machine gun. That's right. It's a machine. It's basically a minigun that fires grenades. I I'm, I'm not even kidding. And we've got a thermic lance. Let's see what we can sell you. Assault rifle. All the dynamite. Keep some frags around just in case. Keep. You can have the pulse grenades. I don't see myself running into a robot anytime soon. No, 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 no. No. Peril. Biker goggles, leather armor. And accept. Another satisfied customer. Well, I gotta get going. Bye. Alright, let's get out of here, Veronica.
But first, we should probably talk to Ramos. What do you? Hey, Ramos. What do you think? Behave yourself this time, Veronica. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? A little. But yo, Ramos, let's sit down and have a chat. Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. Hmm. So, what would an Elder have to do to get kicked out? So, you've been talking to Harden, eh? Yeah. He's been looking for a way to usurp McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of Elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. Hmm. Wait. So, what exactly happened at Helios? I'm sure someone's told you all this before. Several years back, we were running our chapter out the Helios 1 solar power station. Our elder at the time, Elijah, had some kind of obsession with the place, which is the only reason we stayed as long as we did. That place was hardly defensible, and we knew the NCR was moving in on us, but the elder refused to budge, insisting that he just needed more time. We never found out what he needed time for, Wave upon wave of NCR troopers hit us from all directions. We held out for a time, but we were grossly outnumbered, and they had more men than we had ammo. Eventually, our positions collapsed. Elder Elijah was nowhere to be found, so McNamara took charge and led what remained of us on a counteroffensive west. We lost a lot of men and women, but we broke through and made it here. Make no mistake, McNamara saved this chapter that day. So, who's this Elijah fellow? Who was Elijah more like? He was our elder before McNamara. Bright guy, but just between you and me, he was a little off. Our mission is to recover and preserve the technology of the past, but Elijah wanted more. He sought ways to improve upon technology, make it better. When we found Helios One, he was like a kid in a candy store. He kept talking about the potential, and a grand design never realized. He even insisted we set up our base there, against the objection of nearly every paladin. What followed is a whole other story. Alright, well thanks for telling me all that. I gotta go. Later. See ya. Good talk. Alright kids, we're all set. Come on, everyone, let's go. I've got your back. Let's hit the road. All right, dearie, let's go. Ah, scorpions. Oh, sorry, Lily. Oh, God, I, I shot her in the back of the ankle. Thank God it did nothing to her. Wait, what quest are we doing? Oh! His comms terminal. Wait, that that's right across from Gibson's scrapyard. Oh yeah, we can easily go over there. Hey, old lady Gibson. Yo, look at Rex. He's got your dog's brain. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked up. Like, no, no idea how messed up that is. Come here, Ray. I've got mama's got a present for you. It's death. Barrr! Hey, I'm just reenacting what I heard that day. Not a bad shack. Mm. 
No. Bad. God, the place is a fucking dump. I can see why he left. And ooh, drugs! Veronica, you didn't tell me there'd be drugs involved. And lots of cigarettes. Oh god, we hit the mother load for value here. Ooh, and whiskey. And a machete! Ew, what the fuck was that? Was that an ear? Actually, I, I don't think I want to know. Mm, look at all this value. Download research notes. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although, maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. Farming technology? Hmm, more or less. Supposedly, it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport. Guess they found something. Guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. We'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon, but self sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. Hmm. Tell me about the rangefinder. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios 1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios 1 for a time. Lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. If it turns out to be a dud, it should show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. Scavenger? Huh? And what's a pulse gun? Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. We should go after the vegetation technology. Okay. What better way to persuade them than to give them a taste of what they stand to gain, right? Maybe the best place to start is to see what we can find out directly from the NCR. Let's head to their OSI office at McCarran. Actually, we already know about that. Let's go find it. I like the way you think. So they mentioned something about a, uh... Hmm. Abandoned Brotherhood of Steel Bunker? Nah. Guess while we're at it, we can also look for the... Oh, hey, there's one actually nearby! Right over there, huh? Doesn't seem too far. Just an itty bitty bit out of the way. God, those are a lot of solar panels. You know, it's funny. I keep hearing rattlesnakes, but I've never actually seen one, you know? They're like, uh, squirrels or, um, iguanas. Yeah. Who the fuck is this? What? Grandma sees you. Don't need this right now. Fuck it up. What the hell? Microsoft Visual C runtime library. Program what? Program Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas, Fall. This application is request number one time to terminate in an unusual way. What the hell? Okay. I'll admit that's a little unusual. Not gonna lie. Here, let me screen cap this so you guys can see it. Yeah, that that's pretty fucking weird. Well, once again, I think this is a good time to end the video. So, this has been Boney McBonerton here with Fallout New Vegas. In the next episode, we will be penetrating the deep steely...
possibly vegetative full bowels of Vault 22. Have a good day now and goodbye.